I am at Payne Airport right now in Everett. I'm headed out to Albuquerque to see my homie Aaron. Um, that's in New Mexico. And starting the video here. Uh, my flight doesn't leave for like another two-ish hours, so just hanging out outside. It's a very small airport. Figured since it was Veterans Day recently, I'd have this guy featured in my video. But um, I'll take a video of the airport here in just a second and. Um, There's an airplane taking off right now. Like I said, pretty small airfield overall. My companion. Wedding Group 1 is now welcome to board. Excuse me. Literally the whole airport. <laughs> Alright, so this is the walk to my airplane right now. Technically this is my gate slash gang plane. There's my little United plane. There's an Alaskan flight landing right now. Obviously. Super friggin' loud. Yeah, I have a feeling that this is gonna be a fun flight. It's supposed to be towards the front. C11, 11 a.m. So yeah, alright. The gangway up to the airplane. Just keep you standing in the cold while you wait. Hey, look at a helicopter taking off. Ah, you probably can't see it from this camera angle. This is a tiny little private plane taking off. There's the helicopter. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you watch me fly me to the airplane. That's not so. Yeah, maybe. I made it. We are in San Francisco airport, but I'm sort of trapped in the United Terminal because there's no entry. It's exit only that way right to the international terminals where you got to go through customs, etc. And it's like one nice long hallway, all United stuff whatever restaurants they decide to include in their terminals. So, I'm bored. Flights have been easy so far. We're playing a lot of Pokemon Go. And that's gonna be good. One more flight to go to an Albuquerque. So, I walked down that one little snake of gates. And I'm entering this big hub. It's like, you know, security section, and it continues on, like it continues down that way. Continue this way. And it's all united. It's like a whole wing of the airport 
dedicated to United. Not that surprising, just a little bit upsetting actually. Sweet, so I landed in Albuquerque. It's like a little after 10 o'clock here and I'm not sure if it's like supposed to look like this or if it's just not been updated in 20 years, but it kind of looks like a Taco Bell from the 90s in here. Like, uh, I don't have any of the old leather seats around me now, but there's like hella old cracked leather seats and stuff. And look at the floor I'm walking on, tiles everywhere. Ceiling even is like slatted wood. It's really weird, it's really old, it's kind of funky. And I don't think it's what they were aiming for with that, so they got. Anyways, I'm walking out right now. I'm gonna find my buddy Aaron's place and then, yeah, hang out with him for a while. So I made it all the way to Aaron's place. It is the Moran, let's see if I can capture it there, Moran Lofts. I'll probably have to turn the video around or something so you can see it more clearly. But I got a nice Uber ride over here. We're hanging out, waiting for Aaron to come answer the door. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get to hang out with him soon. I think he's on the second floor, so it might take him a little bit to get down here, but no worries. There's actually, like, hella crime and violence around here, I guess. Pretty sure I saw a homeless junkie walking around, checking windows and doors if they were unlocked, so that's cool, whatever. But, um, yeah, there's, like, I don't know if you can see the flashing lights behind me over there, right there. Let's see if I can zoom in, maybe. Nope, can't zoom in in this mode. But I'll switch it around and zoom in. There's, like... A shitload of cops doing something. They're like all blocking off the road over there. Um, sorry for swearing so much. That's just how Dan is after, you know, 13 hours or 14 hours of traveling around in airports and airplanes. Ugh. Anyways, um, so I'm super excited for tomorrow because apparently, like, there's tons of breaking bad uh, scenes that were filmed in this area. So I'm going to go and try and recreate Breaking Bad tomorrow. Well, maybe not fully recreated, but whatever. Anyways, Aaron's coming. He's uh, right there in the doorway, and yeah, later. We're at Sister's Bar right now. Aaron is about to order us some food and drinks from this enormous tap. Look at that thing. I like this place. Video games, big ass rock stage, more video games. Look at that elephant neon. I mean, I don't know if it's legitimately neon, because I don't think any, many things are neon anymore. But it looks pretty neon, eh? Yes, I like it. Sisters. Sorry, I'm paying attention. So Alex told me to eat some really dank Mexican food. Aaron is drinking Founders um, Cask Barrel Stout with the Oak Barrel Whiskey. And I got a porter. The second street porter doing local beers here. Anyways, we got tacos. It's a brisket taco and a carnitas taco and some really, really dank smelling salsa. How's the taco, Aaron? So good. So good. Anyways, putting the phone camera back down <laughs> so I can eat too. 